One day about a year ago, I was at my local library working on a school project. I'd been there long enough to feel settled and working steadily for a while. I came across something. Maybe it was a word, a phrase, or, or something I might have overheard from another patron. I don't remember what it was, but my mind suddenly was on my maternal grandfather, and I started to weep uncontrollably weeping. My skin felt warm. Uh, my body began to even shake and deep sobs were coming from inside of me. I couldn't stop crying and I kept calling out to my grandfather. In the midst of my tears, I realized somewhat shockingly that I was grieving my grandfather for the first time. I say shockingly because my grandfather had been dead for over 20 years at that point. How could it be that I was only now grieving him? I had all sorts of reason for this delay, some good and some quite pitiful actually. I left the library that morning because I felt that I needed a private space to mourn. And besides, I was in no shape to do any work. I remember that I spent that day crying and reflecting on the life of my grandfather and sharing about his life with my niece who was visiting me that fall. By the end of the day, I decided that I never wanted him to be that far from my psyche again. I came to the conclusion that I needed to honor this ancestor of mine, this beautiful person who taught me about unconditional love. This need of mine to honor this ancestor seems to be a human need. And I found that there are many ways all over the world that people honor and celebrate their ancestors. All Saints Days, All Saints Day, and All Souls Day, which uh, Senior Minister Reverend Meg spoke on early in the month, is an example. There is also the Gia, Gia Jatra, <laughs> where in Nepal, an eight-day festival is held to honor those who died over the previous year. Or in Malaysia, the Ari Muyang, it is when people offer prayers to their ancestors and thank them for good fortune and ask for future prosperity. And there is, of course, Mexico's El Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Uh, a version of this is celebrated at my brick and mortar congregation every year. However, and maybe this is because I didn't have any connection to this tradition, I was only going through the motions. <laughs> because that day, about a year ago, when I finally acknowledged my grandfather's death, it dawned on me that I had not thought of him in any significant way all these years. Yeah, even though I took a picture of him to church once a year, and thought I was doing something, I wasn't. Having said this, for those whom this celebration or this tradition resonates, it is a beautiful way to honor the ancestors. One of the things that I find especially significant about um, El Dia de los Muertos is that it is not a day of mourning. And actually, the ancestors, uh, the um, living believe, the ancestors feel that it is offensive to be sad on that day. Right? Isn't that something? The, um, and additionally, the family is encouraged to do things that, war that are meaningful to that person. What a way to celebrate and honor someone. 
And there are yet many other ways that cultures celebrate and honor ancestors. All over the world, there are traditions that exist, no matter the religious faith, and those traditions are specifically to honor ancestors. Perhaps in your own culture, you have specific ways that the ancestors are honored. Is it part of your own personal tradition to do this? In my family, I didn't grow up with a habit of celebrating my ancestors. And that may be your story too. If it is, or if you're looking for a new way of honoring your own ancestors, I have a few suggestions. And keep in mind that because many of us have had to make our own families, that ancestors do not have to be connected to us by blood. They are those who have loved us into the spaces that we're in today. Let's celebrate them by living up to their love for us, by remembering them with all their flaws and understanding that they were complex human beings. My grandfather, for example, yes, I was his favorite and he was always good and wonderful and amazing to me. It can't be said to be the case for everyone else. So I, when I remember him, I also remember he was a flawed being. And we can honor our ancestors by being compassionate towards ourselves and doing right by the next generation. Because after all, we will become their ancestors. We can celebrate our ancestors by always working towards becoming our best selves and speaking our truth. By working towards a more just world. By creating an ancestor altar, a space in your home specifically dedicated to honor your ancestors. And so on. By doing those things, I don't just honor my grandfather. I feel that I honor all those who came before him. But just for my grandfather, that day, as I was looking through pictures of him, I made a decision to have a painting made of one of those pictures. And now that painting hangs above my favorite chair in which I sit daily. My prayer for you is that you find your own unique way of celebrating and honoring your own ancestors. May it be so.